playable and everything is playable. Modern is a format where half the decks that I talk about me not liking or being a lower power level than other things, they're going to top eight and even win tournaments all the time. That's why people love this format. That's why this is this is the people's format. It's it's a format where everything is moderately close in power level. So even when you're playing something that's a little bit weaker, it's still fine. You can still do well with the tournament at it. All of my all of my things get added to to my YouTube playlist after I finish my stream. So everything from today's stream will probably be posted by about four o'clock Central Standard Time. Repeat after me, Scred won a Grand Prix. Yep. Scred won a Grand Prix. I top aided a bunch of opens with Kiki Cord, like Todd Todd Stevens top aided tournaments with Green White Value Town. Garbage tier decks do well all the time. Lots of lots of piles of poop doing really well in modern. It's like it's like the format, it's like the flag of the format. Your pile of poop can do well here too. When does guilds hit moto? I believe it hits moto the same weekend as pre-release happens in paper, but I'm not sure. If you if you Google it, it should be should be listed. Someday a mill-shaped pile of poop will win a grand prix. I hope so, Jackal Girl. I really do. Tom Bra's top eight with eight rack. Yep. Just like. These decks were poop, but we won anyways. It's the battle cry of the modern format. Well, so far, my plan of draw spells is not coming to fruition, chat. And that's the real downside to Street Wraith, right? Like, Street Wraith is this free card, but it makes your mulligans muddled, right? Like, this hand could have been three lands, three spells, but we cycled the Street Wraith, and it ended up being two spells, four lands. And that's just, like, how it goes sometimes. Are there modern decks that aren't poop? Yeah, like Red Black Hollowed One... Um, red, black, hollowed one, humans, those style of decks I think are very, very good. And we're only, we're only one land away from flashing back these bump in the nights. I think the best ensnaring bridge deck is, that's a good question. I don't know offhand. Everybody likes to put ensnaring bridge and like these decks full of otherwise unplayable cards to like try and prop, prop them up. Extra Till, thank you for re-upping that Twitch Prime for the second month in a row. Welcome back, and thanks for keeping me employed this month. I think we might be dead, chat. Probably Burn. Yeah, probably I'd go with Burn. Actually, yeah, I forgot that Burn's a, Burn's a bridge deck now. Yeah, it's definitely Burn. No, I don't. I don't think so, Torque. I, I just don't think Grimflayer is a playable, playable magic card. I think, I think Grimflayer is a lot like Knight of the Reliquary, and that is this card that people really like casting, so they keep putting it into decks, even though it's really bad. Just like the the upside that Grimflayer offers in proportion to the amount of setup work that it takes, just like isn't worthwhile. We did finish running. We started early. I've been starting about eight thirty most days. I think we're dead. If we would have had some more spells this game, we would have been okay, but the fact that these are lands means we're just going to die. Uh, I think I'm just trimming these claim fames. They're not really killing our creatures too much. 
They were at nine to Farah. Now, I think I'd rather have Rift. I want, I want my Death Shadows to be relevant. I mean, other Death Shadow variants play cards like Collective Brutality. It's not, it's not strictly bad. You're just, like, doing slightly different things, right? So I'm going to put Blood Crypt into play here. If Blood Crypt into play here, so we have guaranteed black mana. Against, against really aggressive decks, boarding in Lightning Helix is fine. Hopefully we draw a land here. Yeah, Ponza is not particularly good at applying pressure. Bloodbraid Elf was probably subtly the biggest upgrade to Ponza compared to anything else. That's unfortunate. And again, this is another game where, like, we kept six spells, Street Wraith, one land, hoping the Street Wraith would turn into a land, and it turned into another spell. So just, like, really kind of seeing some, some of the some of the awkwardness that Street Wraith brings to these decks through kind of, you know, making confusion on like what your actual opening hand looks like. Enjoy your lands opponent. So they must have a sweeper here then, because they chose not to they chose not to lightning bolt any of my Dorcos. They had Slagstorm game one, so I assume that's what we're gonna see here is a slag storm. Just bow off. Okay. Land, please. Land, please. <sighs> Am I trading in one of my creatures for four points of damage? Yeah, I think so. This unfortunately puts them to seven, which means they're not dead to double three next turn, which kind of feels bad. Yeah, the stream title doesn't always update for everybody. Feel free to refresh your browser or reload your application. My digit. I don't actually even know that Flame Rift would be that good, honestly. A lot of a lot of modern comes down to racing. We're just like just dead, right? I felt really bad. A little bit of a little bit of resource variance in our lives. One of the, you know, one of the, and again, just like, felt like that match really did a good job of highlighting kind of one of the, the dangers of Street Wraith that kind of gets downplayed. A lot of people look at a card like Street Wraith as being completely free. We also saw like, we had two games in a row there where we had copies of Street Wraith, but we never saw Death Shadow. So like, not only did Street Wraith make what we were keeping our opening hand awkward, but also just like, made the way we played the game awkward because it not it made us not know exactly what our hand was and then it drew a bad card and then it also cost us points of health with never having the upside of enabling an f shadow d 
deal. Again, remember, if you're going to critique things, you need to be constructive, you need to be specific. If you want to say a card looks out of place, explain why it looks out of place. If you don't feel like taking the time to make the keystrokes to write an explanation, just don't post. Chatting's optional. The goal, the goal of the chat is to allow people to learn and improve. And if you're just dumping on things needlessly, it doesn't help people learn or improve. Everyone's having a good day. Ecto, Ecto Manic, thank you for the three-month resub there. Welcome back. Uh, we went three and two with Tron because it was a it's a real modern deck. Uh, they had uh, lightning bolt and bloodbraid elf in hand. Ah, excellent! The burn mirror where we're casting cycling street raids. Things that don't bode well for us. Please be a land. Please be a land. Goblin guide tilt. I like the idea of having the option to not say anything is missed more often than not. Yep. And honestly, I think a lot of the people that have a, a big problem with like how I manage my, my, my stream chat, they just like don't get the chatting is optional or that like they don't have to blurt out every obnoxious thing. How do I get my free timeouts? Exactly. So far, 18 lands are not being kind to us. Hmm. Eidolon of the Great Revel. That makes these mutagenic growths far more castable. Blackwell, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's true. We do we do have a plan. We do get to cut the street rates. Like boarded some lightning helixes. Can I get a land? Basic land. Basic land. Basic land. So the Eidolon means I can't Mutagenic, Mutagenic Battle Rage because these cost four and this costs two. This, this big. <laughs> All right, let's cut these. I think I actually want Tassiger and these Helixes. I don't think I want Rift Bolt here. I guess Mutagenic Growth kind of bad. I don't want all of them. Some of them are probably okay. Yeah, we had a fetch land. Our fetch land did one to us. Yeah, we were at we were at eleven, and we had to take four, four, two, and one, which equals eleven. For those of you that skipped math class. This, uh, this feels like bad burn so far. Feels like we cut a bunch of the cards that made burn consistent and added bu a bunch of kind of like conditional cards that when the synergies don't line up well together, they really don't do anything. Like we haven't drawn, we haven't drawn a claim fame yet, but like the claim fames literally just wouldn't have text boxes so far in the four games that we've played, three games that we've played. Going on, P. Fern. Welcome. I, I just need to sit down for a second because there's a Godless Shrine in my 18 land burn deck. There's a Godless Shrine in my 18 land burn deck.
Is there a basic swamp? Of course there's a basic swamp in here. So we have we have three lands that don't there's 15 red sources. Alrighty. Alrighty then. I'm gonna top that. I am not gonna play anything on one because I would really like to draw a second land. I would I would really like to draw a second land on two. Yeah, this might be this might be another one of those days where we get to where we get to more than more than four decks. Never said anything, never been timed out, correlation or causation, put this towards just kind of thing. Thank you, Thump. I appreciate the support. I got 11 here, Boros Charm them. Next turn we'll go Shadow plus Spike. And like, Here's the issue, right? Like we have to, we have to do like the full 20 to them and they only have to do like 12 to us. I also have an article on Cool Stuff Inc. talking explicitly about building mana bases in modern. Oh, oh I, just, I just. There wasn't a damage step because we didn't deal damage. Let's let's play another match here. So like this is a deck two where this is kind of an exception to the rule where the way this deck is built and because the mana base is so low, this is probably one of the exceptions where you really don't want a shock land of every type. You really don't want all of the bases because like basic planes and basic swamp are like really bad to draw in this deck and like when you're cheating on your land count going so low you're gonna have a lot of games where you like draw these lands they effectively don't do anything All right, we found the Tron button with our burn deck. If we can't win here, we're definitely gonna be done. This is it. This is what this is what we were born for, chat. This is what we were born to do. This is what we were born to do. We are on the draw, however. So, in my experience with Burn and Beaumont Courier, is that Beaumont Courier tends to be a little bit bad and modern for a lot of the same reasons that Geist to St. Traft is bad and modern, which is that, that this is such a creature-based format that creatures with weak stats that have to attack and block to get value tend to not be particularly good in the format. No, just to send me to the tournament. You're not, I'm not selling my body for this one. Eight months, one more, and I'll give a baby. Four more, and I'll give a banning. 
One hit stats, four plays. What's going on? What's going on, Red Shoes? Thank you for the, the two thirds of a year of support. I appreciate that. Welcome. The the mask is really bad. I can't I can't play in the mask. It's tough to do a whole match in it, much less much less a tournament. Happy Tuesday, D twenty bandit. Should save the fetch to cast. I mean, if they carn the foundry, I'm kind of happy with that, right? It's like, then they're not, then they're not counting, carning my thing. Deal. Uh, they probably don't really kill my stuff. We bested Tron on the draw, so we got that going for us. Poor Tron players getting beat up by burn decks before green black players even have their two mana stone rain. Deal. I'm excited to draw Boros Charm with my basic Swamp Hand. I'm really, I'm really excited to draw Boros Charm with this hand. Another bump's actually great because it means I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna get to like use my Swamp for a couple of turns. Yeah, it really is, Jet. I gave, I gave Watsi a lot of props in my article this week. They've been, they've been knocking the cards that beat up on Tron while explicitly not attacking fair mana bases out of the park just been doing doing a plus work with it all this deck doesn't have any skull cracks in it does it it's like actual zero all right natty tron into what what you got give it to me baby Zikan Fajer. I and I seem sweet. I would just like to everybody to like envision for a moment, like if this was just a spell that did three damage. How good, how well off we'd be. But instead, it's a teamer battle rage. So I am I am two spells away from lethal instead of instead of one spell away from lethal. Grab burn staple godless shrine in response. Got you, Blackwell. Thanks for the support. I'm gonna keep the dream alive and draw a one drop creature here.
It's a, it's a darn shame these cards don't deal damage to my opponent. And instead, instead our team are Battle Rage. I'm going to play one more game here because maybe we can win on the play. But I'm, I'm pretty off this deck. I'm pretty, I'm pretty off this deck. I'm going to like play one more game for potentially getting 10 more play points here. It's just like... I have a death shadow in my hand that like I can't cast for 40 turns and a, and a mutagenic growth instead of burn spells. I guess this hand is good. I should, I should have done that. I should have just cut the rage for helix probably or more rift bolts. Palookano, thank you very much for the brand new prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Take a Taylor. Next turn we'll go Taylor into Mutagenic Ruth. Smash for six. You know, for value. The nice twin with the three month three sub. Thank you very much and welcome back. Hopefully they free your splintery brethren at some point soon. No, I think I just want to get Taylor in now. I guess if I hold it for a turn, this could potentially deal five. It's like infinite cards away from casting this Tassiger as well. This deck could be reasonable if we were just a burn deck. Probably, probably a not unrealistic assessment. Okay, that's a worm coil, but that's not happening for a couple of turns here. So hopefully needs a temple garden. I've been tilted off the face of the planet by that one one too many times. Ooh, teamer battle rage. card this card all right at least they're at four are you dead jit <laughs> they're dead right the battle rage is lethal is this they have to pay two to redirect yeah they should they're dead here we did it we did it we did it hooray do 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 Slaughter packed and coming. K. 
Can't cut TBR. What a game. That's just the Twitch chat truth right there. That's just the Twitch chat truth. All right. We've collected. Yeah, I, I agree, Zellabar. I agree. More generic answers is just great. All right. So I know we just won a match, but I'm, I'm pretty off this deck. I'm pretty off this deck. This is this is like a really awkward mashup of Death Shadow and Burn. And it felt like just like these type of synergy decks just really feel like they come up short a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, let's play some let's play some mono black aggro. 